pretty sure you heard this in the background. It's okay, now you'll be able to see the cutscene. I'm glad the Rampage game gave me a good chuckle. <laughs> Instead of that, it's shots for other players, stun players, and normal. Normal is no friend of mine. There's a two player combo with this button. The charge power is this button. The defend is this button. This is where you strap. Triangle is your special attack. The magical potions is this button. Slow attack is this attack, and it's more stronger. But then you have your quick attack, which is your X. And then you have your right, left, down, all of that stuff. <coughs> and then this stick and A. There's nothing on it. Then there's auto and My name of Vinity would never fit on this. Now there'll be characters that you can uh, there's characters that you can unlock. Now if you move up and down you can change the color of them. Really they all kind of do the same shape. Other than their stats. Magic affects your magical potions. Armor affects how much damage you take. Speed affects how fast you move. And strength affects how uh, strong your auto attacks will be. I don't even know what some of these characters are, too. Oh, 
surprised you didn't go for the sorceress. But like, they just don't look good to you. The archer will, uh, okay, so basically the jester and the archer are both the fast characters, okay? The Valkyrie and the knight are both the heavily, like, the ones that won't take lots of damage, okay? The wizard and sorceress are the ones that will both be able to use their magical potions. You only get so many each game. They get to have more damage from the magical potions. And then the barbarian is the one with, like, the Barbarian and the Dwarf, they both have very high auto-attack damage. All of them are ranged, though. None, no one has mana, by the way. And mana doesn't exist. Part of me wants to get the Jester, just so then I can move really fast. You can always go back and change them. That's part of the reason why there's unlockable characters, because when you get your unlockable character, you'll have to restart to, for some of them, it just depends on if you would like those, that type of character. I'm thinking about getting the Jester, but... This guy's a whole nother type of mood, just saying. Like him compared to everybody else is just like whole new mood. That was my mom's character right there. And I'd like play this one, and my sister would go for this one. Oh, always tries to do one. I like the dwarves too. They're really fun. The gnomes. Yeah, I'm just probably the best. Um, I'm gonna go with green jester. Green jester. He throws bombs like six. So this is us. The evil mage god has broken into my tower and used the rune stones to summon the demon Scorn. Scorn broke free from Garm's control and destroyed him. Scorn has unleashed his minion upon the land. Um, and I need to make sure that I change my thing to Gauntlet. Okay, sorry. Alright, so. Scorn has unleashed his minions upon the land and scattered the rune stones across the eight realms. Now he has sealed himself in the desecrated temple. The entrance is protected by eight magical shards. Each is in the possession of one of Scorn's mighty guardians. You must travel to each of the eight realms, fight your way through Scorn's minions, and defeat his guardians. Only after obtaining all eight shards can you enter the desecrated, temp desecrated temple and banish Scorn to the underworld. Scorn has sealed the entrance to each realm with a magical shield. Throughout the land, 
you will find crystals which will enable you to remove these shields. I have summoned I have summoned to my tower enough crystals to unlock one of the eight realms, the Forsaken Province. Go now. The fate of the realms is in your hands. These are crystals. You want to collect as many of them as you can. And that's our health pool and our gold below. And so, yeah, you just go around and look through them and you collect them like Pac-Man and stuff. Congratulations, you now have enough crystals to enter the Forsaken Province. that you don't have any potions, but he'll let you know since you don't have it. And then uh, we also got our special move. And that was because I went up to you and I pressed the left trigger, the second left trigger. Now go up to me and press it. Oh, right now you have to, you have to like use it. You Okay, yeah, you're pressing your uh, top button. Okay, like, well, first you have to wait. There, if you have, you may have enough mana, and then come up to me. Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. Now that skill activated because you both clicked it at the same time. Okay. Now, um. Yeah, so if I came up to you, that's, you know, we both pressed it. We can do that if we get overwhelmed. Now, uh, to click the button above that, that's something you're able to do to, like, it's a different type of movement that you can, like, go around and stuff. Um, and then your other trigger is your block. That's what I'm doing right now, is our block. But yeah, that's the power rundown. That's a key that allows you to open up the chests that go around. With barrels you can break and collect treasure. spawners like that all over the place you don't have to break them now, I picked up a cheap key remember that's a potion I want you to go and pick it up 
And then you can go over to your zombie and then you can use your beat buttons. Turbo Boost just gives you your ultimate immediately if you've already used it. You'll notice that there's a little bit of an already kind of guided system. of your auto attacks and stuff. And that's because of uh, assist game. I'm kind of like letting you like, if I just go ahead, I'm just going to end up taking everything. That's another type of potion. Now these green barrels, they explode. That's poison gas and it will lower our health if we uh, go in it. I'm not going to be able to stay away because we don't need to basically have to do it. have to acknowledge that back there. Auto attacks are unlimited too. So basically, yeah, I shot the potion, but I mean, that's something that is possible. To that food right there will give you your health back too. You can check your health at the bottom. On the screen, there'll be like a little heart with the number next to it. So like right now I need it more, so I'll go watch that. And then here, we need it more right now. That's an example of some really good foods. Now that food right there, with the crossbones that looks nasty, do not eat that food. That food will poison you instead. I just use my ult, and then I use turbo boost, and then I can use it again. Instead of having to wait. I just got a potion that made me huger. The pass, pass the mill is a well-guarded ult. So, sometimes with magic it will give you a shield instead of an explosion. I think this is good for now. I, I'll show you some other of the games real quick and stuff. Because you're not... Just, I don't know. I don't want to say anything to offend you. Characters. Okay, press start. Go up to save. Slot A. Yes. Let's give it a sound. It's pretty fun. We're about to change it here in a second, so then I because I want to show Ember all the games real quick. Choose a location to write. Uh, I'm gonna use. 
I can use the bottom and then you can use the top if you want. Or if you like the bottom, then I go to the top. Just pick a slot. Pick a slot. Okay. And it's just so that we don't uh, overwrite each other's names and stuff. It will show our names there. Now, if you ever wanted to change your character, you just would go through here and then you can go and look through the characters and you can change the color of your skin. Changing the color of the skin does not affect the levels whatsoever. Alright. That's cool. Oh yes, yes it is. 